the first two games. I expect nothing less here in game number three. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Makes a save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Strong's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here he is, listen on this. They score! And a quick goal here in the first by the road team has changed the momentum quickly. Well, yeah, quick goal, quick strike, and that's exactly what you want to do when you're on the road. You want to set the tone early. You want to take the life out of the fans. That's a really tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top fins. Montreal's on the board quickly here in this one, and wow, what a start. Yeah, this feels good if you're the away team. This is exactly the way you want it to start. This is exactly the way the coach drew it up, and maybe even better. Washington's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Strom. And it's a quick pass to Matheson. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Carlson. Works it across to Strom. And that's picked away. Slides the puck down low. Great heads-up play in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Savard. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. Sends it over. The Capitals have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck to Ovechkin. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Picks off the pass. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Strom. And he slides it quickly to Line. And he keeps possession. The Capitals have it against the wall. Great pass from off the right side. And that goes off a body. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's broken up. Quick pass across to Oshie. And he coughs it up with the pass. Slotted aside by the blocker. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides the puck over. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Milano. The Capitals are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Makes the save! There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Canadians have taken a 1-0 lead. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. McMichael's got the puck. And that's intercepted by Shekai. Quick feed to Harvey Pinard. The Habs will play it against the boards. Lindgren's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. The Habs have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And makes the save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Washington's got possession of the puck. Quick pass over to Curtis. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Teams readying here for the faceoff. Washington's won the draw. The Hags look to start the transition game. Dumps it into the ozone. The Capitals have it now. Looking to set up offensively. Puts it on in. Well, this is an 
incredibly intelligent shot, James. It's recognized that there's net front presence in front of the goaltender who's dropping to a butterfly to try and take away as much net as possible, and it finds its way through. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. It's all tied up. the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And he's ridden off the puck. Blast from the blue line. Scores! And with that strike, they got in front. Well, I really like their game tonight. I mean, they always have to manage the ebbs and flows, but when you grind away and you continue to trust the process, you get opportunity, and they convert it on it. Well, defensive zone turnover catches everyone off guard, including the goaltender, and he cannot cover the top of the net. He's scrambling, not set to position, and that puck goes high. Montreal's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first, and how does this change the complexity of the game? Well, it's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. Know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on the stick. Back to back to back scenes! Both sides taking in for that puck along the wall. The Capitals move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, smart heads up read. Here's a short pass to Matheson. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Montreal's got it behind the net. Takes a shot. Can't get it to go. Through center along the wing. Picked up along the boards by Ovechkin. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. The Canadians continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. Strong's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Roy's got it in the offensive zone. Penalty coming up here. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. Hoping for some puck luck here on this face-off as they continue to play shorthanded. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Grabbed along the board by Dumas. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a save! He blocked that one! Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Evans wins possession off the draw. And the puck clears the zone. Yep. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And now he moves into Strom. Play is blown dead with the offside. Dvorak's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Washington's won the face-off at center. Jabs the puck away. Montreal's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Goes right to the crease! Comes up with a monster save in front. 
The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Break away! Still keeps a hold of it. And a strong effort on that play. Cooley's up and ready to get back on the ice. Fires it! And that one's turned away. Montreal's penalty killers deliver a huge effort to keep that one goal lead intact. Good save! Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Textbook poke check by Matheson. Here's a shot, and that cans off a body in traffic. Takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Poked away in the offensive zone by Wilson. Good check, frees the puck up. Taken by Caulfield. Can't keep a hold of it. There's the whistle as the play was offside. The Canadians have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Ducks won the draw at center. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Moves it to Roy. And now he moves it quickly to Duhane. Poked away at center by Barron. Angles it over to Doc. Handles the puck. The Capitals gain possession. Takes a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next. Right. Put your twos up because the second period's about to go down. Clean sheet of ice beckons, and here we go with period number two. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Montreal is playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put bucks on net, you're going to score goals. Let's get the call. And Coach is looking for an explanation here from the official. Yeah, I mean, he's getting the rest here because he wants to know why his team's being penalized more often than clearly having a factor in the game. The Canadians pick up steam and are on the attack. Slides it over with pace to Dubois. And he takes the feed. Pucks it away at his own end. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. Makes his presence known on the ice. Taken along the wall by McMichael. Shuts it down. Centering pass. And that goes off a stick and off target. Cuts into the paint. Front. Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets clear to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. And he slides it quickly to McMichael. Hooked away in the defensive end. Grabs control of it at the point. The Canadians are back to even strength here. from start to finish. It's a complete play here, James, as he's getting jostled on the puck, but he's not moving. He's not budging. And all the while, while he's getting jostled, he's scanning, he's looking, and then he makes the play that leads to the goal. Washington's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down and they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push. And a nice play there to get the equalizer. 
And off the face off, they take possession. Picked up along the wall by Strong. Turned aside with the glove by Montembeau. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Canadians win the defensive zone faceoff. Oh, he blocked him! Oh, that's gotta feel terrible, James. I mean, he finished his hit right through his chest. Faceoff looming as both centers get into position.
Washington's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Barron's got the puck in his own zone. Slides the pass over to Hardy Pinard. They've got some momentum here. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Tries to feed it across. Now a quick pass to Bear. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Suzuki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Montreal's won the faceoff. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Trying to get out of the defensive end. Oh, great work getting the puck out of the zone. James, when I played, this was my bread and butter. I never saw power play time, but I saw a ton of PK time, and you knew when that puck was on your stick. You had to clear it, not only to get fresh legs on the ice, but now you could contest the neutral zone and defend the blue line on entry. That is the critical piece to any PK unit. Shot, and they score! The special teams look Special on that one. Well, you have to rely on your power play unit every once in a while, and no better when when you're in a hole, James. I love the way they move the puck, and guess what? Perfect practice makes perfect power play. The goaltender's trying to play the game of percentages here. He drops into the butterfly position, making himself as big as he possibly can, but guess what? There's a few inches available up high, and the shooter converts. mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Washington's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Carlson. Handles the puck at the point. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Montreal's on the attack. Sets it out front. Shot! Moves the puck. Tosses it to Manjapani. Shot! Oh, a clutch save! Grabbed along the boards by Ovechkin. Washington sliding the puck behind the net. Takes that pass back at the point. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Capitals get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to town. That goes wide. Take it along the wall by Gooley. Pacetta's got it along the boards. Puck dumped in. Washington's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the pass. Quick pass to Ovechkin. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Habs gain possession in their own end. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Well, this is a huge, timely penalty kill, James. Late in the frame, close game. You gotta get to work, put your work boots on, and you gotta kill this part of the penalty. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Sends it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Line and tries to make a diagonal pass to Suzuki. Handles it along the blue line. Here's a blast, and that's off target as it hits a body. 
played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Hey, fans, don't forget to pick up your team calendars. They're available in section 144. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Montreal's won the opening face-off as their power play continues. Receives the pass. And he's got that one. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Suzuki's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. We got a whistle as the puck sails into the bench. Cronus and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. Scores! The go-ahead goal and a big one at that! Well, they really take advantage with the extra attacker here, James. I love that there's a double threat on this power play. They can shoot, they can move the puck, which makes their opponent vulnerable. Great conversion. The well, goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Power plays are about being creative and executing on the options available. And a lot of time and effort go into it. And no one knows more than that than the coach. So when they score on that last goal and they get the go ahead, he's pleased, pretty impressed. Montreal's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it to Suzuki. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Picked up along the wall by Suzuki. Headman pass. Matheson's going to play it against the half wall. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Matheson. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Can't hang on after that hit. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Slides it up to Caulfield. Jock's had an impressive night so far. I mean, he's had a multiple point now, creating a ton of offense. And you know that he's not done yet. Oh, she's got it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Dubois. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Canadians take it along the wall. Washington's got the puck along the boards. Milano's got it into offensive territory. Sends the feed in front. This is it off again here. Another pass. And another pass. Moves it again. Another pass. Takes it last. Great use of the stick at center by Ferrari. Oh, he got it. A clear message to get out of here. The only good thing is it's his own teammates that can pick him up. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Quick shot! Tremendous athletic stop with the glove by Lindgren. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's a one-goal game here. 4-3 is where we sit. Montreal's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Quick feed to McMichael. Washington's moving it into the offensive end. Cut into the glove by Montembeau. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. Dvorak's won the faceoff. Gains the zone through center. Moves it around along the half wall. Huge steal in his own end. Slides it across. Shooter here, 
James, a quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. Washington's determined effort has resulted in the tying goal in period number three. They've had a lot of pushback and a lot of fight in this game. They've been poised, they've composed, but now they're finding a lot of fire in their step and a lot of jump as well. And they've got the equalizer. They've got to continue on, continue to crash, and contribute more. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. The building you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration including everyone on the bench completely deflated right now a non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team another special team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again well they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play it's already worked for them this evening james you can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup the man is it been effective Puck clear from the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Line. Grabs possession of the puck. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Puck slid down the ice. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Caulfield. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Montreal's got it now. Denies him! Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Back underway as he wins the try and scores! And look at that, the rookie gets in on the playoff scoring! Now well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Well, power play face-offs in the Ozone. This is exactly what you love. Coaches love to draw it up and you work on it in practice. This was executed perfectly. Montreal's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Great hits up play with the stick by Barron. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he takes the dish. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to kick off the pass. And he totally whiffs on that one. Let's see what the officials are calling. I'm taking everything in him not to lose it on the official right now. He's absolutely seething inside at that last call. I mean, they're down. It's late in the third. That pretty much seals the deal. to work on their special teams. Well, so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. Quick pass to Slavkowski. Shuts him down. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. McMichael's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And they get that puck down the ice. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Slavkovsky's moving the puck through his own zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Montembeau. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Right away with the stick in the defensive zone. And that pass is redirected. And that's knocked away. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. 
There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. Too much traffic in the lane. Scores! Well, special teams is having a night here this evening. Plus, their command of the puck and the way they're using the space in the offensive zone here, James. They're manipulating the PK units coming out and they're finding a way to get lanes to the net. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what, it's in the back of the cage. With that last goal, you can certainly tell that the coach is not impressed. His team did not start ready, and certainly been struggling throughout this game, now down by a few. Montreal's now up by two here in the late stages of the third. It feels like time is on their side. Time is on their side, but they're going to have to finish it. And the clock seems a little thin right now for them. And on the other side, you've got an urgent team. If they can get within striking distance, they'll get their netminder out. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. Play rolls on. Who takes the feed? Picking up momentum across the side here on the right side. Sends it quickly to Sandine. Sends the pass over. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. Tries to feed it over to Caulfield. Oh, he'll feel that one. Loses the coverage there. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. Looking for space inside the D zone. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Off the left wing and into center. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. The Canadians take it from the side. Puck scooped up by Savard. And loses possession after a solid hit. The Capitals will play it from the defensive zone. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Cooley. Long pass across the ice. Montreal's got it across the line. And that's deflected. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Montreal's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing for their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. And now it's grabbed by Carlson. The Capitals played along the wing. Now a quick pass to Chitlin. Takes a shot, and that goes off a player. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Harvey Pinard. Moves it to Curtis. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Quick feed to Evans. And now he tries to get it across to Harvey Pinard. Washington's looking to break out of their own end. Takes it across the blue line. Under a minute to go in the third. An easy save by Montembeau. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. That is a lonely cage at the end of the ice here, Cheryl. That certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face off. Puck grab by Shekhar. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Looking for 
for his third. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's a shot. Steps in front of it for the block. Right in the slot. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Montreal's been putting lots of pucks on that all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Downs won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And a great scene! And it's a quick pass to Shekhar. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. And with the victory, the series lead now shifts to a 2-1 advantage on their side. I really like the response in their game to break the tie in this series and get ahead 2-1, James. It's all about habits, finding ways to apply pressure to your opponent. And now with that lead, you have applied pressure. So if you can get the next win, man, game four is going to be interesting. What a night. you got to love the intensity of the playoffs. And we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.